What's going on guys? So the die came in and the truth is spilled. The Nintendo Switch uses a very uncustom Tegra X1, but I'm going to give you my three reasons on why it does not matter. Nintendo themselves, since the Wii and Wii U, have always used hardware that has been put behind. But this changes with the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch hardware is actually top notch for a handheld console. But you gotta hear me out. Console wise, compared to a PS4 or even the Xbox One, yes, the Switch falls short in so many aspects of graphical power, including the lack of RAM. And who knows, third party support could wonder. But the Switch isn't only a, a console itself, it's a fusion hybrid of both, which makes it a mediocre console at best, but the most powerful handheld ever created at a friendly, very friendly price point. So why does the X1 being in the Nintendo Switch don't matter? Like I said, my three reasons are going to back up my claim, so let's just jump right into it. Reason number one, the Android Shield TV, which uses the X1 chip, even the newest remodel um, NVIDIA came out with, still uses the chip. And Android games can never push it to its maximum power. There's been games like Borderlands 2, Pre-Sequel, Metal Gear Rising, Tomb Raiders even on it, and Doom. And in fact, Doom itself runs better on the X1 than it does on the 360 and the PS3. Granted, both of those systems are outdated, but you got to remember the X1 is a mobile chip. That makes it pretty powerful. And the fact that Tomb Raider can play on it, the one that was on the PS4, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Reason number two, Nintendo games. Now, this is a Nintendo console, so you can bet for a fact that Nintendo will release their amazing IPs to cover the Switch. We've already seen and obtained the legendary Breath of the Wild, which is an amazing game in itself, and I'm going to have a review for it. But there's other releases coming, like Mario Kart 8, Splatoon 2, ARMS, Fire Emblem Warriors, the new Fire Emblem that was announced for 2018, and there's endless possibilities, a new Animal Crossing, Smash Bros, Pokemon, Star Fox, and we can pray that we get a new Metroid. So hopefully E3, we can possibly see some bombs from Nintendo. Reason number three in the final one. It's easy to develop for. The devs and indies have came out in numerous times openly in press conferences or press releases saying that the Switch is so easy to develop their games and port them over. It supports Unity 3D, Unreal Engine 4, uh, maybe Havoc, and probably engines that developers made for their own games. So th third party support is coming. We've seen it with Shovel Knight. We've seen it with I Am Tetsununa. I butchered that name. Forgive me. I uh, see we've seen it with um you know the snake pass is coming uh bomberman is already out street fighter is coming even though that's really a mediocre street fighter but it's coming and there can be countless other games coming we just haven't seen it dragon ball even is even coming now that's dragon ball universe 2 which is on a ps4 and an xbox one so third party support's coming don't worry about it so why is everyone losing their minds and smashing their faces on their keyboard screaming nintendo's down I have no idea, but as far as I'm concerned, and the average consumer shows that they're buying these things up, so Nintendo is fine. Now, granted, this console just got released, and like a lot of Nintendo products, they sell out in the beginning. Even the Wii U had a good, a semi-decent launch, but they're claiming that this is the best launch of Nintendo history, which is interesting. Now... We have to see how the sales go during the end of the year and, and see if they can continue the momentum. But for now, the Switch is fine. The X1 being in it doesn't really matter much. We just want to see the games. It's an amazing little console full of untapped potential. And I'm curious to see what else is going to come on it, what games are going to come on it, and what third-party um, supporters are going to step up and release their titles. Now, remember, the way third-party support works is if this system sells like it is, and it continues to have a great success, third-party support is going to come because there's going to be a market for it. So don't worry about that. I think it will be fine. We'll be all right, guys. So I'm Cloud, and I made the Switch. And these are my thoughts about the X1 being in the, in the Switch. Subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I am out of here. Peace.